Joining me now is NASA Launch Manager Omar Baez. Good morning, Omar, and congratulations to you and the team. Oh, good morning. Thank you. Well, everything seemed to go very smoothly with the count. Can you give us a little recap of the activities? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the team came in about 3 in the morning. Um, uh, we w weren't looking at any uh, launch vehicle issues or any issues with the range or the spacecraft. Uh, nice, smooth countdown. We had a little bit of drama uh, towards the end there with upper-level winds uh, taking us out of our... Uh, range there and, and uh, getting us red, but as soon as we uh, loaded a new uh, s uh, steering uh, component into there and, and used a different road, uh, load relief, we were able to uh, get back in the green and uh, give the go to launch, and, and it's been a smooth launch, uh, uh, first and second stage and into separation, and uh, a little while ago we saw the video of the spacecraft separating, and uh, they tell us that the uh, solar arrays uh, did deploy, um, so uh, exciting, and uh, the, the team is jubilant from what I can see in the control room. Absolutely. Well, it took a long time to get to this point today. Can you tell me a little about the um, great team involved in launch? Absolutely. This is, a, like all launches, this is a big team. Uh, it's a team effort from uh, the NASA team, our uh, sponsoring center, which is uh, for this one is JPL, NASA headquarters, uh, science mission director at the Earth Science uh, portion of it, and our CONI and Argentine partners uh, for this mission. Um, there's a, a contingent of international partners, too, with instruments on it. So it, it's, it makes for great complexity, a lot of distances and, uh, and cultural changes. But uh, we get it all together here. It takes a little bit more time and a lot more coordination, and uh, this is stuff that's good for, for the global community. So um, uh, a great job by all, and uh, this will be good for, for all of us. Well, Omar, thank you for taking time to stop by this morning, and again, congratulations to you and the team. Thank you very much. To recap this morning's events, we had an on-time launch of the Aquarius SAC-D spacecraft aboard a Delta II rocket, at 7.20.13 a.m. Pacific Time from Space Launch Complex 2 on Vandenberg Air Force Base. This will conclude our live launch coverage. For more information on NASA's Aquarius mission, visit www.nasa.gov Aquarius. From the Mission Director Center on Vandenberg Air Force Base. At launch plus one hour, eight minutes, this is Delta Launch Control.